Hi, this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. Today is Tuesday, March the 6th. And just as I was saying yesterday, we hadn't had a trend in so long. We didn't know what one looked like any longer. Uh, today we get a nice trend. Uh, unfortunately, it was to the downside. But as day traders, we don't really care. We just want some movement where we can make some money. Um, only reason I would have preferred it be up is that I have some other investments that would have done better if it would have gone up. So... Uh, but anyway, as far as day trading went, we had a great trend. It's the first time we've had one in a long, long time. And um, I don't know about you, but I was glad to have it. So um, mostly on the shorts today. There were some longs. I didn't mark any of them. I'm only going to stick to the uh, key entry points. And um, I'll show those to you here shortly. Um, but let's. Uh, I wanted to give you a picture of the big... Uh, the overall bigger picture here. Here's here's where prices opened yesterday afternoon in the overnight. We traded down almost all night, had a little bit of reversal, and then continued a second leg down. And I believe these are a measured leg. Let me just look and see. I never even looked. At, I never even measured this really. Uh, there's leg one, and then you got your two-legged correction there, and then there's leg two. And you can see, and that's pretty much where price is stalled right there before breaking lower and failing and trying to work out of there. So uh, by getting your measured leg, you had an idea of where this was going to. Um, I was done way before this, so I wasn't even trading by this time. Um, but I did mark all the trades up to about 1.30 today that I, that I really liked and uh, recommended taking. And this was actually uh, one you could have taken right here, probably, too. Um, I, for some reason, I didn't mark that one. But let me just start out here. Let me uh, pull out a little bit where we can see what we're looking at. And this was really the first trend right here. It started about 5 o'clock this morning. But, but what happened, we went into this little trading range um, after this first leg down. And this is really just a two-legged correction, and just so people can see it. There's some people that can't see these yet. There's leg one up, leg two, and there's there's your pull back, and then there's your second leg up. And you can see those are a measured, perfect measured leg. There's the first leg, and then there's the second one. So it's a nice two-legged move, and uh, and then we started the downtrend again. And I drew this off the first couple of swings, and you can see they came into play right here and right here again. And you probably could have drawn it. In the beginning, you probably might have had it like that, and you see you would have got a couple of entries off that trend line, but then there's your two-legged correction. And by that time, I probably would have moved it up to here like so, and then you can see it, you would have picked up these other swings down here. And even without this trend line, you should have seen these. These are two-legged pullbacks to the EMA. This is one right here too, but we were in congestion. I did, so I didn't mark that one. It would have worked, but you can see it didn't go very far before it corrected again. And we'd been away from that trend line for quite a while right there. So I didn't like that setup, and I didn't take it. Um, I think I still had a runner going at that point. But um, anyway, here's your first pullback, and let me show you. This is a two-legged pullback. There's leg one up. There's your pullback, and then there's your second leg. So that's a two-legged pullback to the EMA. So this is a second entry short. Um, in a downtrend like this, it probably would have been okay to go short right there below that bar. Uh, if you waited for the stronger bar, then uh, that was okay too. You still would have gotten out right down here, but it would have taken a little more work. Uh, but when the trend's been this strong to the downside, it, it, and you get a two-legged pullback to the EMA on a really good trend day, you know, take every second entry, and uh, unless it's just too many overlapping bars. But as you can see here, we actually did have some overlapping bars. This was a small congestion, and we broke out of that to the EMA, immediately failed, and prices turned lower. And again, I didn't like this one. It's still a two-legged pullback to the EMA. You see there's leg one, there's your pullback, then leg two, and uh, then it sold off. But it was coming out of too many overlapping bars, too many dojis, and even though it worked, um, because it was a good downtrend, it probably would have been, if you took it, it's probably okay. I don't recommend that trade. Uh, it's a high, that's a low probability trade. And you see it didn't go very far before prices begin pulling back and congesting again. But you got another chance to go short right here below this bar. 
and this again is there's leg one. There's two legs in this first leg here, then a pull back, and then leg two, and then it was off to the races down again. And this one didn't go far either, but again, that was a lot of congestion. This is really just, we're still congestion all along here, but this was an easy scalp if you took it, and uh, okay. And then here we go again. There's a one leg up, pull back, two legs. So there's your two legs back to the trend line, and the trend line's held one, two. This is the third time here now. So that was a good entry right there, and then it was another nice move down to a new low. And um, so another nice setup there. And then we had the break of that trend line right here. And then we had a prolonged correction. Usually after a break of a trend line, you get uh, at least an hour of correction. And sometimes you get a trend reversal, but at the very least you're expecting an hour or so of uh, congestion or correction and this is another two-legged there's leg one pull back leg two and my guess is if you measure this they'll you'll see there's leg one and there's leg two nice little two-leg correction so easy to see not very hard to spot and prices tried to go higher a couple different times I didn't mark a trade here uh, I didn't really like this one at all because of all the overlap but this was a second entry long that failed at the same place again so you could have gone short right here this was not a bad trade I, for some reason I didn't mark that one I don't know why if I just missed it or whatever but you could have gone short below that doji or below this bar right here the doji was probably the better trade because it's still giving you room to get out before you get down here and by the time you go short right here then there's not a whole lot of room left in case prices bounce which look what happened they did bounce you still would have got out before they bounced but uh, once we broke out of this congestion we tried to test that twice and that created this next little trend line down through here and look what we got here even though prices went lower here this is close enough to be a two-legged pullback to the EMA and the trend line and uh, so that's another nice setup plenty of room to scalp out before we get down to here and you can see we did break lower but prices chopped around again though so look one leg two leg two legged pull back to the EMA we did break the trend line right there and then two legs down to a new low and that turned out to pretty much be the low of the well no it didn't uh, we, we ended up spending another hour long period uh, in congestion then we had two more legs down to a new low and that turned out to be the low of the day um, but notice that this was support and until it acted as resistance, we're not we're not looking. Uh, it's acting as support right now, so we got to be careful about going short. But because this was a two-legged pullback, and we had, and plus this is a double top, as you see, and we broke one tick higher, so that's a trap. So that was why I marked that trade. And by that time, your line would have been right here anyway, because here's all your latest closes up here, and you see that's just a pullback to retest that area, and. Uh, but coming back down to here again, uh, this has kind of been support over here. And now look what's happening. It's acting as resistance. And until it acts as, as long as it acts as resistance, we're still looking for shorts. And uh, that's a double top, second entry short right there. And uh, that was looking for prices to come back down here to this low again. And then we had another one right here. By this time, it was obvious that this was a, trading range again and, and it's only about a 41 to 43 only about two points maybe two and a quarter so you got to be, be getting long way down here or way up here and uh, there wasn't really enough room on these to really get short and you can see if you had have tried to get short you probably would have got stopped out uh, but once we broke higher here and failed and then turned down going short right there you can see that's a nice two-legged move one leg pull back two legs and there you enter right there and then it was off to the races down any runners would have been good right there and that really carried you into the two o'clock hour or so 230 hour and I wouldn't have entered any more new trades after that point so again a nice downtrend when we you know a nice trend day when we hadn't had one in a long time and you can see I was talking yesterday you can see prices closed yesterday up here around 64 and we're below 44 so that's over a 20 point move and and that does include the overnight unfortunately but there you know that's not uncommon to happen from the open to 
the regular open to the close to get 20 or 30 points. And maybe we'll get days like that again. We hadn't had them in a long time. So this was kind of a nice day. And hopefully I did get a couple of emails saying, hey, today seemed real easy. Uh, but that's because we had a nice trend. And as long as you stayed with the trend and you didn't try to counter turn trade, you should have done pretty well. And uh, there were some extended moves, a chance to get some runners going, the whole bit. So it was a nice trading day for a change. And, and I hope some of you uh, took advantage of it and did well today. And um, I probably should have kept trading today, but it was so easy out of the gate. Uh, I did reach my goal. And that's why we have a goal, so we don't go back in and give all our money back or um, that kind of thing. So uh, I did the right thing by sticking on my goal, but looking back on it, I wish I would have kept on trading and traded some more of this. And it, it did get harder in here because you see it's starting to get choppy. We had a pretty good move down, and we were getting close to our – I think we actually did have our two measure legs in by that time. And that's probably why it was really struggling to go lower even though we did work our way a little bit lower before trying to rally out of there. Now it looks like we're actually trying to go lower. There's about 30 more minutes left in the trading day. I'm doing this a little early today. I'm, it's tax time, so I'm trying to work on my taxes, and i got to get all that ready for my accountant. So um, I'm trying to spend some of my time during my day working on my taxes. So uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm just make it a quick one today. It was a fairly easy trading day. I think most of you probably can see the trend and see the trend lines. And, uh, but if you've got any questions, drop me an email. I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully we'll get another nice trend tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com.